Welcome to RCR Wireless here at 2014 CES, and we're with Randy Yap here at Samsung. He's going to talk to us about the Galaxy Note Pro. Randy, you're on. Hey, how are you? So, what I'm here to show you guys today is how amazing and how revolutionary our Note Pro is. Uh, and the reason why is we've overlaid exactly how the tablet works. So we created a whole new user interface where a consumer can either be work, work savvy on it, tech savvy on it or fun savvy on it. And the way we do that is we give you the opportunity to customize the screen in exactly how you want it. And the way we do that was our new user interface called Magazine UX. What we found out with tablets is, is that we have a lot of consumers that have what we call a lot of wasted real estate. So uh, what happens is, is when you look at the device here, you'll notice that there's not one part of the screen that doesn't have something on it. How many times do you go over to your friend's house and you look at their tablet and they only have five icons on it and there's nothing else on the device? What do you do with that beautiful screen here? So here we have a beautiful 12 inch screen and no wasted real estate. How do we do that? Well, what we did was we really focused on widgets this time around. Typically, you would just have an app and maybe a widget that pops on there that kind of just takes up space and drains battery. Now, the experience is all about widgets. How do we do that? Well, from the home screen here, you'll notice that we have a bunch of pages. To edit those pages, all you have to do from the screen is go ahead and go from an open to a pinch position. And what you'll see here on our screen is our menu, basically, is how I like to do it. You can easily add a screen on there. You can pick from different types of categories, from productivity to applications to fun stuff. So if I wanted to add my gallery on here, all I have to do is push it down, and I can drag it over to one of six slots. The coolest thing about the six slots, though, is I can position it to a maximum of two slots. So if I wanted to, oops, this guy's not going to work with me. There we go. And now we have two slots open. We can go back to widgets. I can add the New York Times. And if I wanted it, I can move it to wherever I want to and customize how it looks. And now when I go back, I have my pages there available. And you can design each one the way you like it. So you can have one for your food, one for your movies, one for your music. We really customize how you interact with your tablet. But that's not, I mean, that's not it. To go even beyond that, what we did was we made it so you can be even more productive on the 12-inch screen by using what's called multi-window. Okay, I got to stop you. So this all looks a lot like Windows 8. So talk to me about that. Well, and as Windows 8 is an amazing product, what you'll notice in the difference between our units is, is while theirs is a single scroll, ours is a page scroll. So what you can do is instead of customizing just one length of it, you can have a page for each one of your items. So yes, it might look the same, but each one acts different. So. Let's continue. Yes, absolutely. So let's get back to the multitasking. So uh, what we're going to do is, is on our device, all we're going to do is we're going to swipe right to left here. And all we have to do is grab an item, and we can just drag it over. And that's OK. You can do one screen there. You know what? Let's go ahead and do two screens. Sure, all of our devices already do two screens. Our Note 3, um, you know, our S4, and even our Note 2 does two screens. But our Note Pro is the only one that can take it up one notch and we can actually do four windows. So we have three right there, and we're gonna add one more, and now we have four. So instead of dealing with one 12 inch screen, you now have four three inch screens. Uh, and the reason why you would do that is because you can work in your email, you can have your web page open, you can have your browser open. But because this is a note series, we have taken it one step further and taken all the best features with our S Pen and our Note 3 and applied it over to this device. So you can actually write on the screen if you wanted to. You can pull up different windows. Let's say while I'm working in here, I needed to make a phone call or I wanted to watch YouTube, but I didn't want to affect anything on my screen here. All we have to do is take our S Pen, hover over the screen, and it'll bring up what's called our air command, which is familiar on the Note 3. All we have to do is we can go to pen window, draw a square, and now if I wanted to, I can make a phone call and I don't have to worry about my work being interrupted. Absolutely cool. If we wanted to take a memo, we could easily take a memo. A memo. All we have to do is bring up air command again, we can bring up our action memo, and now we have what's called our sticky notes on steroids, basically. So not only can I jot down a note, but I can also uh, add a contact, find a food place, I can send an email. Uh, so it's very interactive with how it works there, too. Uh, and the way we can do that, if you would like me to show you here, what I'm going to do is on the tablet, I'm just going to write uh, McDonald's. And please pardon my writing. 
Uh, it's been busy on the floor here all day. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to go to a map location. And now what it's going to do is going to bring up Google Maps. We'll move our phone out of the way. We'll accept and continue. And we can cancel. And obviously, we don't have a data connection. But if we had a data connection in wonderful CES here, it would actually search for McDonald's and locate any McDonald's that's around us here. And that's all from just writing on the memo itself, which is amazing. So one other thing we did, and the scenario I like to draw up, and maybe you can answer me on this. How many times uh, do you own a tablet? I do not yet, but I'm about to get one from Samsung. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully somebody here can help you with that, and hopefully you go with one of our devices. One of the coolest things on our device, and the scenario I like to draw up is anytime uh, you have a consumer that is working on a tablet, their phone might go off, but their phone might not be able to access or uh, be able to, you know, anywhere in within reach. So now what we have is a cool app called SideSync. So what you can do is you can actually interact with your device. So we have a Note 3 here, and we actually have a mirror image of the Note 3 here. So instead of having to drop your tablet, go ahead and pick up your phone that's in the living room, you don't have to leave anything, and everything is right here on the device. And you can actually interact on the screen just as you would on the phone. So you can send that text message that you wanted to. You could go home and you could stream that video that you wanted to without having to transfer anything. Typically, with transfers, you're used to, you know, I have to go to Dropbox or wherever I have the video stored and re-download it. Now you can just stream it from the device and not have to worry about it, and it'll automatically start playing for you. And it's in full resolution, and there's no lag whatsoever. But don't forget, because we were working earlier, we still have our dial pad right there from our multi-window and pen window. So we'll go ahead and close that, and we'll go back to side sync. One of the coolest things is, is that if I decide to go back to my device and I was watching that video, I can go right back to my phone here, and it leaves off right where I left off. So there's no lag between switching from your tablet to your device, but truly there's no reason to go back and find your device because everything is on the tablet itself which is one of the best features on the Note Pro 12.2. So what you're going to notice on the Galaxy Note Pro, as far as specs go, this tablet is a powerhouse. And the way we did that is we gave it a 12.2 inch screen. You're running Android 4.4. It comes in a 32 and 64 gigs model. But to run all your multitasking, we're also housing three gigs of RAM inside of it. Don't worry about power, though, because we also have a 9,500 milliamp battery, which will give you about 10 hours of video playback.